Well, we just got set up in the stand. It's about 3.40. Um, we're down in this bottom bean plot that we have no idea really what's been in here. The cell, there's a trail cam. Um, died after a week. There's a stupid flower in front of it, and it just took pictures every minute for a week straight. So um, we have no idea what's down here. We got two scrapes to my right right now why within 20 25 yards that are fresh um, wide open so we're hoping whatever made them those scrapes um, comes and checks them out tonight we got a cell cam or not cell cam normal trail camera I don't know it's probably about 100 yards from here maybe a little more that was also on a scrape that worked the whole time since we last checked it in um, there's a nice huge big tent that we're calling lefty I was probably like a 12 or 13 actually with all those extra points but um, we're hoping he's the one that's been making these scrapes right next to us. We're hoping that he comes down into this beans to kind of check it out before um, the night's over. We got about a half hour of daylight left, maybe. It's kind of overcast, so it might get dark sooner, but um, we came in here after a buck were calling um, southbound now, um, and we actually just laid eyes on them probably about 20 minutes ago. Um, maybe about an hour ago, maybe probably a little less than that. Uh, we rattled a little bit. Um, 20 minutes after that, he came out of that CRP bedding on top of the hill, and had a scrape in this kind of pinch point just outside the food plot. Uh, I worked his way down a little closer to the food plot and just kind of froze there looking down. He heard probably for those bucks that he heard. So i um, guessing when he didn't see anything, he just kind of turned around and hit that scrape a little bit again. And then that's the last we saw of him. So um, very cool encounter, very awesome buck, really cool buck. Um, still thinking he's not too far away. So hopefully something comes in this plot and draws him back. But yeah, awesome encounter. Um, we'll see what happens yet the rest of the night. So these gloves are perfect. I've never really been much of a glove guy. 
I just kind of like bare handing it just gives me the flexibility that I was always looking for but these gloves kind of are the real deal um, they're perfect to give you flexibility for your fingers so your fingertips so um, on your phone you can text you can do all that good stuff range and stuff you got um, full contact with the button um, for the release it's perfect um, nice flexibility in your index finger this index finger is actually a smidge shorter than the rest of the fingers it stops right below the joint so you get that full flexibility in your index finger for that trigger so it's perfect it's been keeping me warm um, keeping me dry so it's been what i've been wearing i'll be wearing as long as these temperatures stay at this general area well it is um, saturday october 23rd it's our evening on it's about 3 30 now we are all set up and ready to rock and roll we came back to the spot that we haven't hunted yet um, this weekend. Um, it's on the western half of this property, so it sets up really nice, I think. We're going to see, hopefully, quite a few deer. Um, we got the neighbor's cornfield that's taken down um, on the top of this kind of ridge here, so probably, I don't know, two, three hundred yards away, but um, I think a lot of these deer are going to be better than the CRP behind us, so... And then there's a nice ditch crossing or a culvert or whatever, right? 20 yards from us that they seem to be taking quite a bit. So we're hoping that um, Southpaw is still bedded out in the CRP from last night. Um, and hopefully he kind of walks through here on his way up to the cornfield. Um, we, brought, we brought the antlers along again tonight. We're probably going to smash them in a little while. And that's what brought him in last night. So we're hoping that if he's still out in this bedding area here that... Um, he comes and investigates it. Um, this whole edge of this woods here is just covered with scrapes. So there's one right here, 25 yards away from us. And like I said, this whole edge. So hopefully if we hit those horns that when he gets on his feet and comes and checks some of these scrapes. Um, if that's the case, I think we have a really good shot at him. should be 
so um, hopefully we can start seeing some good deer. It's closing in on 10 o'clock here. We had a pretty solid morning this morning. We've seen five different bucks. Uh, one two-year-old, the rest were a year and a half. Um, I think we're gonna get down here pretty soon. Um, I think the plan is we're actually gonna leave everything in the tree. We're gonna come right back in here where we sat this morning. We got the wind to hunt it again tonight. And I think this is gonna be our best bet as far as getting on some of these bucks we're after so we're gonna get down warm up maybe put a pizza in and watch the Packer game but we'll be back in this same tree here in a few hours for the evening sit We're gonna try doing this again. We just got up in the stand here about a half hour ago. 
and uh, we've already had three bucks come through, all little year and a half, but first one came in and worked the scrape. He kind of wandered off into the tag holders here, and we had two other bucks come check him out. They kind of wandered back the same direction they came from, but we took a little break today. Um, we got got a little bit of a nap in, had a pizza, watched the Packers, uh, and uh, we got back out here. It's overcast this mo this afternoon. Um, it's a little bit breezy, but I think this wind's supposed to die down tonight, so it should be a pretty good sit. But we're hoping we're hoping these bucks daddy comes in and does the same thing that this first one did and we should be in the chips but it should be a pretty good night so hopefully the bucks keep rolling through here October 25th today. Kind of a breezy morning out this morning. Uh, me and Ben just got in the tree here about an hour ago. We had a little buck come underneath us just before shooting light. A little year and a half. We're out in a farm um, that I usually spend a little more time in, but this is the first, uh, first sit I've actually had in it this year. We've got a couple solid bucks down here, but uh, we decided to give my dad's property kind of a break. We've been hunting that hard the last few days. Baby splits have been kind of hanging up there. Um, we had pictures of them this morning at like two o'clock on a couple of cell cameras up there. Haven't had anything since, so not sure if he's still up there or if he decided to kind of head back down this way. This is usually where he spends kind of pre-rut so there's a chance we could run into him this morning, but there's uh, for sure one other buck, maybe two other bucks in here that I would definitely, definitely shoot. Um, they've been pretty steady on the cameras actually the last week. So who knows, we'll uh, probably sit here for a few hours this morning, kind of see what we see and, uh, and go from there. Um, we got a good wind. If we don't have any luck today, later this week, we got a couple days where we got a good wind to come back into this spot. So there's a, there's a good chance we'll be back in here at some point um, in the next few days. But we're just kind of sitting here this morning to see what's on this property and, and give uh, my dad's property a little bit of a rest.
about 9.30 right now. It's been quite a, quite a bit slower morning than yesterday. We've only seen two bucks. Uh, we had one come through about half hour, 45 minutes ago. It looked like a two-year-old. <clears throat> I've had some pictures of him from down here. Um, he kind of skirted us at about 75, 80 yards. Um, then headed up into this thick, this thick stuff to the north here where these deer kind of bed. But this breeze has not let up all morning. So I'm kind of thinking that that's kind of kept these deer hunkered down. The sun's finally starting to pop out. It was overcast most of the morning. But I think we're going to pack her up here for for the day. Um, I'm not going to probably get out sitting for a couple more days. Uh, got my buddy Scott coming here this week and we're going to hit her hard then the next six, seven days. Hopefully punch this Wisconsin tag and then get down back, back home to Iowa to chase bucks down there the rest of the rut. But <coughs> slow morning, at least we didn't get skunked. But be back after him here in a couple days.